Hello and welcome back to Spirit Mom. Today we discuss a very important Bible quote that's been known throughout the ages. It's John 3, 19 to 21. This is the verdict. Light has come into the world, but people loved darkness instead of the light because their deeds were evil. Anyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for fear that their deeds will be exposed. But whoever lives by the truth comes into the light so that it may be seen plainly what they have done has been done in the sight of God. Now, this is interesting because I disagree. On There's lots of things I disagree in the Bible, but this is the New Testament, and the New Testament is usually pretty spot on. I don't like the separation between if you've done evil, then you cannot move on. We are all inherently evil. This is not the full explanation of the story. You can walk in the light with your darkness and the light will shine away the darkness. This is the biggest thing that used to hold me back too, is these preliminary teachings, i.e. the Bible, they don't give you the full story. They don't enlighten you. This is a piece, whereas yes, the light will shine on your darkness, but that's what you want. I walk towards the light knowing sometimes it's going to be painful. Does that mean you're gonna get sick because the light will literally be eviscerating things inside you? Yes, I think that's why there's so much sickness happening right now. It's just an increase of light and it's doing things to us, but hopefully mostly good things. So just embrace the sickness and there's other things like you can lash out emotionally when the light is shined on darkness working with my clients I see this a lot some people cry some people get very angry because this is one of the major things I do is shine light on darkness especially ones you don't previously see because we are all filled with a certain amount of darkness it just comes with the territory of humanity but we don't need to wait to be full light to walk into the light we're always going to have animalistic thoughts. What we want to work towards is golden light behavior. But then we're still going to have darkness from our past. We're still going to have darkness from the collective consciousness. We're still going to have darkness because of the law of polarity in our literal existence. So it's always going to be there. But what we want to do is move into the light and get rid of our specific clogged pores. Think of it like literal veins and you need those arteries to be clear of congestion so that your energy can move more fluidly so that you can attain coherence because the ultimate goal, what I teach, what I preach is coherence, Christ consciousness, middle pillar. It's got lots of language. It's been used throughout the ages. It's really what you want to head towards because your Christ consciousness is light. And if you lead with that light, it will automatically pull you towards the light, but on the way out, because remember, light, dark, dark. So as your light pulls, that darkness will assimilate into the light, making you more light, making you less dense, making you more coherent. So do not wait to be perfectly good. You're gonna be swearing at people. You're going to be nasty. You're going to be angry a lot if you're new to this, because that's just how people are. Like before I awoke, I was one of the, I think that's like why I was that kind of person, but I was the biggest whiner, poor me, nothing was ever my fault. Little old me isn't guilty for anything, wah. Like I know what it's like, trust me. I had a lot of problems in my life and some of it did look like it was coming from outside sources. But what I know now is that your energy dictates what comes at you. Now anything that comes at me is an opportunity and I welcome love and light to lead the way. So don't be scared of the light. Please walk towards the light, darkness and all. It will naturally integrate it in and create it all into light. Although remember that we're still gonna have darkness within us because we're still dark beings. So it's just a matter of integrating that into whatever is gonna work for us to be fifth dimensionally functioning. Obviously this is heading towards an enlightened path. And, and that's it, that's the sum of the story. So walk towards the light, walk towards your Christ consciousness. If you need help doing it, I can help you. www.spiritmomcoaching.com Good luck, see you soon, Spirit Mom.